Welcome to my channel. I am Marisita Colors in English. Hello my dear friends of Marisita Colors in English. Today we have a new crochet pattern. Are these nice shoes? Baby shoes, zapatitos en español. I use the double crochet, vareta or punto alto en español. This is a size for babies between 0 until 3 months. Later, I will let you a table with approximately size. In this video, I will show you my tricks that I use for make the baby shoes. The sole, I begin here. This is the line of the center that part in two parts the shoe. Here I made increases, aumentos en español. Only I have three rounds. And after this, for the body, I must use decreases. Only are three rounds for the body. And then I make chains for the lace of our baby shoe. Every double crochet can be the buttonhole of my baby shoe. I will show you how you must make for another sizes. These baby shoes are super easy and quick to make. So now we will learn to make these beautiful baby shoes. I will use the hook number 3,50 millimeters, 20 grams of yarn of acrylic, Scissors, needle for you, and I'm part of buttons. It's better to use a special yarn for babies for make these baby shoes. I will make 10 chains, but remember that every yarn and every hook make of different size over threads. If you make more or less chains, the increases you must make in the same place that I will make. So, I will begin with 10 chains. This is my technique. Here I will make the first chain. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 chains. I will tell you how many centimeters I have here until the loop into the hook I have 6 centimeters now I will make in the third chain 2 double crochet when we make 2 double crochet in 1 stitch this is 1 increase here is the first and into the same Third chain, I will make the second double crochet. Here I have two double crochet plus the chains of the begin, so all together are like three double crochet. Now, in every stitch, I will make one double crochet until the end of the row. All together are Six double crochet. Here 
here I have the six double crochet after the first increase and into the first chain I will make one increase. I will make six double crochet into the same first stitch. I make the double crochet number six. So now you can see we turn the round. This is the center of our baby shoe. This is the line that part in two our sole. Now I will make six double crochet until finish the round. I find the chains of the begin and the first increase. So into the same stitch where are the increase, I will make three double crochet. All in the same stitch. Now for join the round, I will find this second chain and I will join with one slip stitch. Here I have approximately seven centimeters. I will begin the second round with two chains. These two chains represent the first double crochet. Into the same stitch I will make two double crochet more. So we make one increase. This is the part of the back of my baby shoe. Now I will make seven double crochet, one in every stitch. Here I have the seven double crochet and I find the increase of the first round, this you must notice. Over this increase, I will make increases. I will make two double crochet in every stitch. If you have more or less stitches here in the shoe, you must notice where is the increase of the previous round. So we begin with the increases. Two double crochet into the same stitch. All together will be 12 double crochet. Here I make the last increase and I have the 12 double crochet. From back I will make 9 double crochet. But if you have more or less stitches, remember that you must let free the first stitch where are the chains of the begin of this round. So only you must make all the double crochet until finish the round. I make the double crochet number nine and here I find the chains of the begin. In the same stitch where are the chains, I will make three double crochet. Now I find the two chains of the begin. Into the second, I will make one slip stitch. We will see how many centimeters I have. Approximately 10 centimeters. For begin the third round, I will make two chains like the first double crochet. And into the same stitch, I make one increase. So, two double crochet into the same stitch. Here in this third round, 
I must make 10 double crochet before we begin again the increase. Here I have the 10 double crochet after the increase, the first increase. And here I will make again increases. I want to show you until where I made the double crochet. I made the double crochet until the first increase of the previous round. In the second increase of the previous round, I will begin with the increases. In three stitches I will make increases. So here I begin with two double crochet in every stitch. I have six double crochet and here into the center I will make four double crochet, one in every stitch. And now I will make again three increases. So two double crochet in three stitches. All that I make in the right side, I must make in the left side for that my sole is uniform. Here I have the increase. Here I make the six double crochet that are the increase. Now I only must make one double crochet until finish the round. Always we let free the last stitch where are the chains of the begin because here I will make increases again. We will make one double crochet in every stitch. I made 12 double crochet and I find the chains of the begin into the same stitch of the chains, where are the chains, I will make three double crochet. Here I find the two chains and into the second I will insert the hook and make one slip stitch. Punto deslizado en español. Here I finish the sole of my baby shoe. From white I have 7 centimeters and half. For the next round I make two chains like the first over crochet. And now I will begin with the body of my shoe. I must make one double crochet in every stitch. I will make 12 double crochet. I have the first. So I will make 11 double crochet. In this round I will begin with the decreases. Here I have the 12 double crochet and I will begin with the decrease. Look, I will begin the decrease in this double crochet that is before the increase of the previous round. Yarn over, I insert into the double crochet. Yarn over, we bring one loop. Yarn over, we pass for two. And before I finish this double crochet, yarn over and I go into the next stitch. We insert the hook. Yarn over, we bring one loop. Yarn over, we pass for two, and now I have three loops. Yarn over, and we pass for the three loops. This is one decrease. Disminución en español. I will make eight decreases. Four decreases for the right side, and four decreases for the left side. All together will be eight decreases.
Here I have eight decreases. I want to show you the trick of the baby shoes. Here is the line of the begin, that is the center of my shoe. And look, here is the first decrease, and in front must be into the same side, in the same level. I will make one mark for show you. So you can see that the decreases are into the same level. So if you have more or less stitches when you close the shoe, you must look that the decreases are front in front. So after the decreases, I will continue only with one double crochet in every stitch. I will make 15 double crochet. I have the 15 double crochet and I find the two chains of the begin in the second. I will join and make one slip stitch. Here we finish the first round of decreases. Look, this is the center of my shoe. The thread emer or always goes a little to the left, so the stitches of the left are not the same of the right part. For begin the next round. Again, we make two chains like the first double crochet and into the next stitch I begin to make one double crochet in every stitch. Here I must have 11 double crochet. I have the 11 double crochet and here I find the first decrease of the previous round. From here I will begin again the decreases. In your thread you must find the first decrease and from here you will make your decreases. In this round I will make four decreases, two for the right side and two for the left side. And this is the first decrease. We insert into the next stitch, we pass for two, and when we have the three loops, we close together. So this is the first decrease. Here I have the four decreases. When you close your shoe, two decreases must be in the right and two decreases in the left side. And now I will make 16 double crochet until finish the round, one in every stitch. I have the 16 double crochet after the decrease. Here I find the two chains of the begin into the second. We insert the hook and we make one slip stitch. Look, the importance of the shoe is the decreases for that the shoe start to close. I will make the last round of my baby shoe, so we begin again with the two chains like the first double crochet, and here I must have 10 double crochet. So I have the first, I must make 9 double crochet, one in every stitch. Here this is the 10 double crochet, 
and I find the first decrease of the previous round. From here, I will begin to make two decreases. I have the two decreases and when we close the shoe, we can see one into the left or the right and one into the left side. And from here only I will make one double crochet in every stitch until that we finish the row. Here I will make 16 double crochet. Almost I finished the round, one double crochet in every stitch. I have more double crochet in this part because the thread goes a little more to the left. Here I find the two chains of the begin and we make one slip a stitch into the second chain. Here I left you one table with the size approximately. And here we finish our baby shoe. This is from the right, this baby shoe. And this will be from the left. I make a slip a stitch and I will explain you. For make the lace, I will make a slip a stitch all around until here in front. And from here I will make chain for make the lace. Here I will make six slip stitch. This is the first chain, like the first slip stitch. And here I made the second, third, four, five, and six. From here I made the lace in this right shoe. I will make the same over the opposite. I will continue until make in front until be in front so here i make seven eight all slip stitches here i have 16 slip stitches and i calculate you can calculate two in your shoe and from here i will make chains I will make 14 chains. I made the same in the shoe of the right. Here I have 14 chains. And in the third chain I will make one double crochet. And from here I will make one double crochet in every stitch. And from here I will make one double crochet in every stitch. You must make the same stitches in your baby shoe. I will make the last double crochet. And I will join with the shoe. I skip one stitch and into the next I make one slip stitch. And look, this is the lace. You can make longer if you want. Now I pass the Yarn into the last stitch, we cut and we close the thread. And we have our nice shoe. So the lace will be from the right to the left. Here with the needle for sew the yarn, I will finish to join the lace to the thread. I make the slip stitches for make the laces. For don't cut the yarn. So for try to continue and don't cut the yarn. Here I will finish to sew the lace to the shoe. After that we sew, it's very nice over lace. So here in front I will sew the button. First I pass the yarn 
I make secure before I sew the bottom. Here for the reverse I sew the yarn of the baby. I make only into the center of the stitches. When the yarn is secure, I cut. You must make the two choose the same stitches. It's better that you write in a paper for that you remember how many stitches you have in every baby shoe. And we have ready our beautiful baby shoes. This size is for babies between 0 until 3 months approximately. If you make more chains in the beginning, your baby shoe will be bigger. Before I finish this video, I want to invite you to subscribe here in my channel Marisita Colors in English. It's total free. Remember, activate the bell for receive all the posts when I have a new video here in my channel. You can find me in Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Pinterest. And if you like this video, you can share it with your family and friends and give one like. Thank you very much to watch my videos and comment and we see us in my next crochet or knitting pattern. Ciao, ciao!